Look like a great night. Thank you, Nathan. Former Hampton University basketball star Rick Mahorn was back on his old campus today. A four year player at Hampton in the late 70s, Mahorn went on to play 18 seasons in the NBA tonight. His jersey will forever be hanging in the rafters at the Convocation Center. Hampton technically retired his number 44 years ago. No one has worn it since, but now it, it will be on full display. Check out this great video. Mahorn was drafted in the second round of the 1980 NBA draft by the Washington Bullets. He gained worldwide recognition as one of the original bad boys on the Detroit Pistons and won an NBA championship with Detroit. Now he still lives there. He hosts a radio show and does some work with the Pistons, but he says it all started at Hampton. What a rush. It's a, it's a rush because this is where I laid my bones, I guess, as they say. A lot of times people forget where they came from. No, I don't. Hampton Institute at that time, now university, did so much for me in my life. I learned a lot and I learned how to navigate the world. Great stuff there. Mahorn, Mahorn was one of the toughest players in NBA history. Look at some of the highlights. A member of the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame, Mahorn was known to stand up to anybody and was always willing to sacrifice his body for the betterment of the team. He admits, though, he wouldn't be able to get away with some of these tactics in today's NBA. It's not legal to what I did to anybody in the league now. If you look at the rules, depending on the rules, the thing is, it's all about entertainment. It's exciting basketball. Everybody shoots the three. I wish they had the three-pointer when I was here, but hey, that's, it's, all, it's all about progression. One of the enforcers on the bad boy Pistons. What a legend he is. Congrats to him. The Pirates hosting North Carolina A&T tonight, trying to snap an eight-game losing streak. Starting the first half, Aggies were having their way. Marcus Watson. Baseline jam. I mean, that was a tough one. One handed. He had 16 points. A&T up by as many as 13 in the first half. Pirates, though, with a rally. Jordan Nesbitt, the triple right there. He had a game high 18 for him. Then it's Russell Dean, the fadeaway jumper, backing him down right in the paint. Hampton cut the lead down to one, but A&T would go on another run. Pirates with no answer for Cam Woods. Watch Woods from deep in the woods. Bury the three pointer. He had 27 on the night. Nine losses in a row for Hampton. A&T gets the win. 79 to 67. William